Um, he is Verdi, and he is our red Protoss in the bottom left on Overgrowth. His opponent in the top right, playing for Evil Geniuses, the Blue Terran, the Muslim. And I'm just watching the final moments of the game, of the previous game, and I'll tell you in a sec who won. Sure looks like the Muslim. And yeah, that's 1-0 for the Muslim. So he just needs another win to close this out and go up against Red in the round of 16. Wait, nope, that's wrong, that's wrong, completely wrong. In the quarterfinals, and that's not even true. Since Sword of and Firecake are still not done, <laughs> they're still duking it out. So we don't even know yet. We don't even know um, who his opponent's going to be here. But uh, we'll find out pretty soon. And for now, <clears throat> let's have a look at both, what both of these players are doing. Uh, Verdi is going for the double gas opening. Let's see if he sends two or three workers in there. It's going to tell us what exactly his plan is here. And <clears throat> Gateway also finishing up. Muslim, meanwhile, did go for uh, gas and Rex. And still has all of his workers in there, obviously. And just two workers in gas for now. Seen this before. Okay, no, never mind. I think we saw this uh, yesterday, no, a couple days ago. I think on um, Sunday in the Go for SC2, where. Protoss just set, built two geysers, but then just had uh, two workers in one gas and none in the other one at all. <laughs> Alright, uh, the Muslim opening up with a single Reaper. And Command Center is also in production here in the natural. Now usually he's not going to do all that much damage with this Reaper, probably none at all, since um, Rail or Verdi rather uh, skipped... Uh, skip the, oh, he didn't skip the Zealot, never mind. But um, Since he does have the Mothership Core on the way and a Stalker is also on the way. But it does get in there and uh, scout out a little bit, so that that helps quite a, quite a bit. And the Stalker, of course, also gets rid of the SCV, but this opens a little bit of a timing for this Reaper to get in there. And I don't think Verdi... nope, Verdi has no units at home to stop this. But then again, the Muslim uh, also needs to defend against the Stalker, Zealot, and Mothership Core. And the bunker is not quite finished. He does have a double marine production due to the reactor that was thrown out as well. And move all but one SCV out of gas, so he does have a decent mineral income. And having marine production available right now is also pretty sweet, since a Stargate is incoming for Verdi. And the marines get in there, will defend this barracks, uh, will defend this command center. Now with the mothership core coming in, um, he will need to move back up here. SCB will work. Nope, he's not gonna finish that barracks. I could have helped out so much here. And even the SCB going down. Oh, mules being killed off as well. And more units are dying, but there's a recall. And the Muslim not losing that much. Five workers, uh, it hurts quite a bit, but. Then again, um, he does have that command center finished, so he can use mules. Uh, he has double SCV production. But now he needs to defend uh, the Stargate. And Fortray is already being produced, but oh, nice call! The Muslim scouting out the proxy Stargate. This is a blow to Verdi's plan, that's for sure. He's gonna try to um, continue produce and send a few units over here, but I don't know. Now that the Muslim knows what's up, he's um, yeah well prepared. Has that missile turret in the main in the natural. Um, maybe another bunker would help out. Yep, yeah. and he's producing that straight away. Doesn't have the time to get more production up. He would really love to have another barracks now, right about now. But I think with just a single void ray and uh, missile turrets available, he should be in a good spot. Although the void ray is very mobile, will stop the second bunker from going up. And he hasn't used Overcharge just yet. Proxy Pylon is available for Verdi, and he's adding in more gateways. The second um, Voidray is also moving over here, and the third one is being produced as we speak. But the Muslim, once he sees that more Voidrays are coming in, he's gonna add another Missile Turret, and he's gonna try to add it right on top of these bunkers as well. So I don't think the natural will be uh, will be broken here by Verdi. 
And the Muslim, he's just buying himself a little bit more time. We'll get those bunkers established, at least it looks like, but oh, it's, he's still in a tight spot here. Still in a pretty tight spot. And there we go, bunkers are done. Lots of marines in there. Um, of course, the SCVs will stand by. And let's see, is Verdi gonna transition out of this? Doesn't look like it for now. He's still staying on 24 workers, just chrono boosting his uh, Stargate, chrono boosting his gateways. And this looks like a pretty massive army already, but three bunkers. It's not bad either. Let's see, time warp is going down, first bunker falls. The Zealots are closing in, a good force field on the left side keeps a couple of these SCVs uh, from actually repairing the bunker. And the third bunker also falls, but that's a lot of marines coming out, and the overcharge is almost up as well. And the Mothership core falls, there's no turning back now. Verdi is in trouble, that's a lot of marines. And they will clear off, no, not quite getting rid of the Void Ray. Of course, a Reaper in the back not doing all that much. But the Muslim is still in this. Bunkers are being cancelled. And, whoa! Verdi going for the 1-1. Red Protoss. Playing for Clan Jerish. It is Verdi. And his opponents spawn on the top right side here on Foxtrot. The Blue Terran. E.g. the Muslim. And this is something we've seen from the Muslim, where um, he had some issues dealing with uh, Lambo's cheese early on. And I don't know, it looked so solid what he what he pulled off, but maybe the placement of the bunkers wasn't the best, or he could have had that missile turret right on top of the bunkers. I don't know, maybe... I don't know. Ah, it's, it's tough to tell, to be honest. A third barracks would have helped out quite a bit as well. But he didn't really have the time. He didn't really have the time. But I guess um, if he would have had the second turret between these bunkers or just behind them, so they're just in the range of the Void Ray, would have helped out. Well, we'll see. We'll see if uh, Verdi is going to go for early aggression again and if the Muslim can figure it out and figure out an answer. <laughs> Give more micro games. <laughs> Well, let's see what these players are gonna do here, Mr. Dot Duck. Rail adding two geysers, two extractors. And the Muslim also going for gas um, into barracks, so I'm looking forward to a Reaper once again. And that's three workers in gas already for Verdi. And what about the second gas? How long is he gonna wait here? Reaper is being thrown into the production queue. And that's two workers. He's gonna add that third one. He already has three workers in gas on the first one, so that's kind of telling a story already. There's the third worker. And we're only on 22 supply, so I would expect some something tacky and offensive out of Verdi one more time. The Muslim is gonna get here, he's gonna scout out the gas timings, and he's gonna see, okay, what the heck is going on here. And behind this, of course, going for the reactor once again, and of course, also going for command center. We saw the gas timing, and he sees, okay, he didn't skip the zealot, so I have to um, prepare for aggression once again. And ooh, Verdi getting out of gas. This is really weird. This is really something weird that he's pulling off. Oh, did he just attack his own <laughs> nexus? Sure looked like it. And looks like the Mothership Korra will be able to ward off this reaper and did he uh, cross with the zealot already no he didn't and reaper will get away maybe even jump in there yeah he wants to check okay nexus is coming nexus is coming i can um relax a little bit at least but he still needs to watch out um still think that verdi could go for some aggression here the Reaper gonna get in there? Uh, nope, not not gonna happen. He's gonna turn around and we'll have to use a scan or maybe catch Verdi off guard when his units are out of position to sneak another peek. But behind this he is going for another barracks and uh, it's just sticking to one refinery for now. 
So he's gonna go into Bioplay, uh, going for the plus one upgrade already. Maybe he's gonna get a nice timing here before Verdi gets any real defenses up. I doubt it though. I think this is gonna go into the mid game at least. Two gateways are being added and a robo. Okay. What is Verdi's plan with this? Is he gonna go for early Colossus tech or is that robo just for scouting purposes? We'll have to see. Meanwhile, the Muslim also adding a reactor here. And not going for a second gas. Still not going for a second gas. Of course, Stim is being thrown in the queue straight away. And Rail is uh, still producing worker workers as expected at this point. And the Reaper gets in there one more time. Maybe? Yep, he gets a kill. He finally gets a kill. Come on, Mr. Reaper, man. You were looking for that. But he still couldn't get into the main, uh, still couldn't check out that Robo is being produced and warp gates are thrown out as well. And that's the first scout coming out of Verdi. A little bit late, but at least he gets in there. Um, might not get to see a whole, whole lot though, with the missile turret and with him flying over, yep, <laughs> with him flying over the, the bunker. It's a little bit of aggression coming out though, but the Muslim uh, with that bunker and Lots of marines already being produced, um, the plus one upgrade be having having the plus one upgrade available, I think uh, the Muslim can hold this, but I said that before and we were surprised, so... There's definitely an option for Verdi to do some damage. Uh, looks like he's gonna turn around though. Uh, where are all of his observers? He, he produced two observers already, where's the first one? Sitting on his main... Okay, maybe you forgot about it. Yep, he <laughs> kind of forgot about it. Second one is coming out any second now, and he's going for a robo game. So, yeah, those were just for early observers, and now he's gonna go into Colossus production pretty soon, but... Ah, the Muslim needs to watch out. He's simply relying on Marines for now. I'm just now going into the Marauder production as well, and... It's just finished his starport, so it's gonna be a while until he gets a decent viking count up. And that's a, a tiny little spot for Verdi to do some damage. Tiny window of opportunity. But, oh, he's going for something different, going for the Stargate again. Let's see what he's gonna complement his army with. Um, he's also going for Thermal Lands and Colossi, of course. So I don't really know what the Stargate is for, maybe... Oh, Phoenixes. Okay, it's interesting. Phoenixes against Vikings? Or just Phoenixes for harassment? What are you working on, Verdi? Meanwhile, the Muslim is working on his third is expansion and also getting the first few medevacs. And once he sees the first Colossus, he's gonna switch over to Vikings. But since he stayed on uh, just barracks for such a long time, um, yeah, it's gonna be a lower Viking count than you would usually see at that point. But he has a nice timing here, has the plus one attack, plus one armor, and almost uh, combo shields. Of course, Stim is also available. So this is a little bit of a dangerous moment for Verdi, and he really wants to catch the Muslim before he gets to the main base. But I don't think... did he scout all of this? Nope, he hasn't scouted it yet, and ooh, the Muslim is moving around this observer. But he's also turning around. He saw the first Colossus, so we're seeing the switch into Vikings straight away. And also adding in a lot more production facilities. Of course, he's uh, realizing uh, with those two bases, I have nice income. I need some way to actually spend all of this, especially with that third base um, coming into play here pretty soon. Thermal Lance is now done. Uh, the third Colossus is on its way. And yeah, this looks pretty good for Verdi right now. He's not, not quite ready to establish his third. Now he is but it's uh, immediately being scouted out by the Muslim. And the Muslim just adding in uh, all of his add-ons. Interesting base play over here. Be a little bit dangerous uh, if Verdi actually goes for a drop on the left side there. And there's the swap. Of course he wants more and more Vikings now to deal with the Colossi. And Verdi going for a double scout. I like this. At least one of these is gonna make it. If he's well, if he's keeping them together, it might be troublesome, but still. 
Yeah, he sees all of this. Now, what's interesting to notice, no second eBay, but he does have the armory available. So he knows, okay, uh, upgrade-wise, I can still catch up if I go for a double forge. Uh, single forge will leave me behind, but then again, I have, I have a decent Colossus count, and he's also working on these Phoenixes. And I don't know, that that's a little bit of a surprise. Already has seven Phoenixes, more on the way. And he's going for the plus one armor upgrade. But so a little bit of an interesting style for Verdi. Then the Muslim, he seemed like a macro god so far. Or late game god, we'll have to see if he can do it once again. He has the upgrade advantage, <clears throat> just like his games versus Hanfi, where it helped him out uh, immensely. And he has um, a perfect counter already set up, 8 Vikings versus uh, 3 Colossi. Oh, there's a the fourth one. But he's still producing Vikings, 4 at a time now. So he'll ha try to snipe off most of these Colossi, and then once he has one or two, he's gonna switch over to Medivac production, so he doesn't have to overstim. He's gonna be surprised by all of these uh, Phoenixes, and oh, there... Oh, that could have been the perfect scan for the Muslim. Not that it's gonna help all that much, but... That could have been the perfect scan. And the Muslim buying himself a little bit of time. He's also pulling SCVs, interestingly enough. And he scouts out the Phoenixes now. Plus two weapons is done. And Verdi, he's trying to find an entrance into the third. And looks like he can, but some good scans coming out of the Muslim, showing him the entirety of Verdi's army now. And the Phoenixes will have to move uh, will have to move away. We have to watch out. Ooh, nice kill there. Mothership core goes down, but not before uh, throwing down another force uh, time warp. And SCVs are pulled beforehand. I like this preemptive play here from the Muslim, but he's kind of caught in between these bases now, and that's the moment that Verdi moves in. Of course, the Muslim reacting so quickly here, getting rid of the command center. And he also, um, yeah, he also caught a couple of these phoenixes. And there we go, final engagement, Vikings focusing down the Colossi, taking almost all of them out, and this looks like an amazing composition here for the Muslim, and there we go, he takes it, 2-1, to one, and we'll move on to the round of, oh no, the quarterfinals already, we'll move on.